Alexis or Blasian, whatever you want to call me. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. T-H-E-R-E-A-L-B-L-A-S-I-A-N, The Real Blasian. Make sure that you guys let me know what you want to see in my next videos because as I've said in like all my other videos that I've posted on this new channel, I'm going to be trying to make videos far more frequently than I usually do. The best route would probably be to just comment below because I actually read the comments majority of the time and I do my best to respond to as many people as I can. Oh my goodness, there's so many interruptions. So my bangs keep like doing this thing because I cut them by myself and um, so they're always crooked. I just have to like straighten them so that they go under so that they don't really appear crooked to you guys. So before I start the Q&A portion of this video, I figured I would talk about cosmetics, everything that I really like, and um, what I used on my face today, basically. And I also have a coupon code for you guys so you can get 40% off of your purchase. I know, I am the greatest. I'm just kidding. I don't really know what that was. That was really corny. I am not good with makeup. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup guru. So this is just a video because you guys asked. So you asked me to talk about makeup and what I do and that's what I'm going to do. So I start off with um, a moisturizer on my face. I use the CoverGirl CG Smoothers BB Cream. It's a tinted moisturizer and sunscreen in 810 light to medium. I put on the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, which is like really amazing. It makes your skin so smooth and like the bags, I don't really really have bags under my eyes, but I kind of have like lines and so I put this like everywhere all over my face and it actually smooths them out and then when I put my foundation over it just looks a lot better. I put on my foundation, which is MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, NC45. Lately I've been contouring and highlighting. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Whatevs. I try it. So I use, I don't know what this is, Match Master Conceal. So this is a concealer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The person recommended it to me and I just figured out how to do it. I don't really even know what shade this is, or, but it says 8. There's a number 8 on it. I don't know if that means anything but it basically looks like this oh I'm running out and um yeah so I use this the contour and then I use this to highlight looks like this it's kind of dirty I use it pretty frequently now um this is the MAC prep and prime highlighter bright forecast it says I guess that's probably the color the shade what else I don't know about makeup like I said you guys can judge me all you want <laughs> So after that, I, um, finally I put on this Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. It's this here eyeliner, um, Maybelline's Master Drama by iStudio in Midnight Master. I really, really, really love this, um, eyeliner because it goes on, like, so creamy. Like, it just looks really good and it lasts very long and just looks well still by the end of the day like it's like when I use the other one that I typically use like for my winged eyeliner it kind of cracks over time like throughout the day it starts to crack and it just bothers me a lot I don't like having to retouch my makeup I don't like having to do my makeup in general I don't want to have to fix it after I put on my eyeliner I use mascara and lately I've been using these but I'm not going to talk about these until I get to that part of the video so you're gonna have to wait Today, I used these specific colors. I used this MAC lipstick, Angel. It is so pretty and creamy and I love it. Today, I used this Art of Seduction over it, but I don't think you can buy this anymore. It was limited edition and it came with this other um, lipstick that I really love. So I wanna talk about these products that I got from Simply Spoiled. I will definitely, definitely, definitely have the link to their website in the description below. Um, so first of all, I'm going to talk about these mascaras. I have one in purple, one in black, and one in blue. And I can tell you that they are, I really, really like it because there's not a lot of clumps and usually whenever I put on mascara, my eyelashes are like immediately clumped together. So I really like this. It goes on well and it just looks good. Look, they have like mirrors on the back too, so that's pretty cool. 
I never have a mirror anywhere I go. I always use like my phone from facing camera. So. Definitely look out for these on their website. You can get 40% off by using the discount code I'm going to put in the description. The discount code is TRB40, so TRB40. You guys can take advantage of the 40% off. Like that's so good. They're not even like that expensive. I can definitely rave about these oh my gosh these are so cute it looks like there's like water droplets all on it and it actually feels like you can feel them like it's a texture i love 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 like i don't know if you should call it packaging or whatever whatevs i love it it's really pretty so this is the gel and these are the fibers i just take the gel and put it on like i would like my regular mascara and then i put the fibers over do this again sometimes i do this again and this again do it to the top and bottom lashes love it you guys should definitely buy these i also received um an eyeshadow palette from them um i can tell you guys that the colors are so 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 pretty i don't know if you can really see it but they are so pretty and it has like a second set of colors underneath too like these are like there's like speckled colors on the side the colors as well Definitely look into those. They're really, really lovely colors. I tried like a couple and they were pretty pigmented. So I really like them. And yeah, you can get that 40% off, bruh. Definitely look into those. They're really, really lovely colors. I tried like a couple and they were pretty pigmented. So I really like them. And yeah, you can get that 40% off, bruh. Now it's time for Ask Belizean. I'm just kidding. Do you want any children? I do. Um, I don't really know how many. We'll see how it goes. I know I want to get an epidural because what? Having a baby naturally? I don't know how people can do it. To tear your vagina? Oh my gosh. That's so scary. Okay, somebody asked this question. What if all the guys fall in love with you and how are you going to know if it is real? I don't think you could answer that because you can't find my heart. No offense, I'm just so confused by your question. I don't understand what you're asking me. Would you rather eat a piece of gum off the concrete or suck a hairy monkey nipple? Honestly, I would rather suck a hairy monkey nipple. That's like a tongue twister, suck a hairy monkey nipple. Because I don't know where that gum has been. I don't know if that person has herpes, but I know that this monkey, I can run tests on it. I know that this monkey has been wherever it has been because I can like monitor it, I can give it a bath, you know? So definitely suck on a hairy monkey's nipple. Do you have any piercings or tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. I'd love to get one. I think I want to get one like in this area under my tatas. <laughs> but I have nine piercings. How would you feel if you woke up bald? I'd probably feel lost. I have the biggest head ever and bald is just not the look for me. I'm not Amber Rose. I cannot do it. I don't even know. <laughs> no. Have you ever fell up the stairs? That's actually a funny question. One time when I was younger, like a wee 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 little Blasian, um, I was playing with my cousin Courtney and I remember she ran up the stairs at my grandma Mary's house and I tried to run after her but like I fell going up the stairs and I knocked the wind out of me so I was like <gasps> and I was trying so hard to cry but I just couldn't cry. Nothing was coming out, tears were coming down. My dad came over and picked me up and I was still like tried to cry and then he took me in front of the mirror and he was like who's that girl or something like that i don't know are you tired of this big booty trend no i like big butts and i cannot lie have you ever kissed a girl no i have not i think girls are beautiful um i don't feel that we should focus so much on like the sex of people like if you like somebody then you like them like if they happen to be a girl or they happen to be a guy then whatever you know i don't think we should be so consumed by whether or not it's like the norm. Would you rather have eyelashes as teeth or teeth as eyelashes? That's a strange question. Um, eyelashes as teeth because I can hide that. People would think I'm a freak if I had teeth as eyelashes. That's kind of scary. Are you afraid of getting old? I'm more afraid of dying than I am of getting old, but it scares me that time goes by so fast. Your favorite feature on you? I guess my eyes. I mean, because I like my eyes and most people compliment my eyes. Ideal man's appearance. Um, I don't really know. Typically, this is usually what I go for. I like 
taller guys that are taller than me and i don't mean like taller than me but like three inches i mean like six foot maybe i like that five nine typically i date light skinned <laughs> i don't know i just like it i guess that's just what i'm attracted to uh, it's important the way that they dress to me because we have to walk together in public i feel like you should know how to dress yourself decently yeah i mean you don't have to look amazing you don't have to go buy like designer clothes i'm just saying you should know how to dress yourself favorite shows um i love the walking dead i uh, that's my absolute favorite show um breaking bad um i never really family guy i absolutely adore family guy the cleveland show bob's burgers American Dad. I'm into like everything really. I love comedies, but The Walking Dead is the shh. I was gonna say it, but I'm trying really hard not to cuss in my videos because I feel like I have a lot of young ears and I don't want to influence you guys because it just sounds dumb when you cuss. Just don't do it. What would you do if your boyfriend turned out to be gay? There's nothing you can do about it. If they're gay, then they're gay. They're not your boyfriend. They're your friend. How old are you and when is your birthday? I'm 19. I will be 20 on July 24th of 2015. Not going to be 21 until next year, so not all that excited, but whatevs. Another year is always a blessing. If you can change anything in the world, what will it be and why? I would make it so that everybody is at least open to getting known to... Sorry. I would make it so that everybody is like open to getting to know each other rather than judging them with when they first see them and not even giving them the chance to prove that they're a really good person. That's like the worst thing in this world to me is that people feel that they can just make assumptions about people without actually knowing them and it's terrible. If you had the chance to go back in time and do something differently, what would it be and why? Definitely I would go back to high school and focus more on school and actually try to get really good grades because I didn't try all that hard the last few years of me being in school. If you were to leave the house to run errands, what is something you must wear, like, makeup-wise? I don't feel like I must wear eyeliner, but if I'm only going to put on, like, one thing, it's going to be eyeliner, because I feel like it makes my eyes stand out more. I don't really care about anything else. Honestly, I'm so comfortable going out in public with my hair just put all back, even with my big-ass, big forehead um, out, and sorry. No makeup, like I'm fine with it. I don't have a problem. I people come up to me and they're like, "Are you the real Blasian?" I'm like, "Yeah," even though I look gross. But so I don't have a problem with it. I'm I'm pretty much comfortable. Sometimes I feel less comfortable when I'm all dolled up and I'm like talking to somebody like I work with. I'm like, "Oh my gosh," they probably think I'm so weird because I tried today. But yeah, <laughs> I don't try when I go to work. The only time I feel like being bigger or being a lot smaller is a negative thing is if it's affecting your health or if it's affecting the way that you feel about yourself. So that being said, I don't have an, um, a preference to either. I feel that we should be able to get past that. One time I was even told like this guy I was talking to was like, my friend said that you're not pretty and his friend was in the car and he was like. I didn't say she's not pretty, I said she's pretty, she's just skinny or something like that. That's not okay. First of all, it's not okay to say to a girl. Second of all, it's not okay to be thinking that way. And third, I don't want you. So, that being said, why does it matter what you think of me? Why do you feel that you need to say what you said? Like, how is that going to benefit you or me? It's just not. So... Let's just not talk about me. Let's not talk about the fact that you don't like my body or my face or whatever. Because it's mine. You don't have to live with it. All I'm saying. I'm sorry that I have to keep doing this. My bangs are ridiculous. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you let me know what else you want to see. Subscribe and comment below.